Hello everyone. Today is uh, Tuesday, April the 21st. I sh should check that before I look at the camera, but I forget every time. Uh, today was Roxanne Weborg's memorial service, a gravesite service that we watched from afar, and then a service in our auditorium. And it's on live stream now. So if you go on to our church website after this devotion, uh, you can find it on the live stream section, and you can find it under events as well. You can click on Roxanne's Memorial in the event section or just go to live stream and you'll see it in that line of, of videos of both devotions and services. But being there this morning, both at the gravesite and then at the service today, you know, I couldn't help but think about the wonderful opportunity and, and uh, privilege and power we have to encourage and exhort and comfort one another. Those are powerful words in Scripture to comfort and edify and encourage. And we are instructed, uh, commanded, and encouraged to do that for each other. In the book of Hebrews chapter 3, the Bible says, Beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. <clears throat> but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So there's, there's a, a dynamic that takes place in the Christian life of distance from God if, you, if you're indifferent towards it or not involved in opportunities to worship, uh, contemplate Him, even fellowship with other believers. So part of our responsibility as an individual believer is not just to be right with God, but to be engaged with each other because we all need each other. We need to have each other's feedback, each other's input, each other's pat on the back or encouragement. So later on in Hebrews, the writer says this, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So although the Bible tells us we can't forsake or we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together, in one way we've had to, but we, we are still able to get together on live stream, um, texting, emails, phone calls, don't forsake your interaction with other believers. Your phone call, your email, your text might be just what the other person needs to lift their spirits, to keep them from drifting into skepticism or cynicism or, or even disbelief. So don't overlook the incredible, simple, but powerful element of mutual encouragement. And let's encourage each other today. When I was thinking of Jean and his very close relationship with Roxanne and the, the unique void he's going to feel like many in our church have felt. I'm thinking um, Elton Smith and Ed Richards and many others, my own father, who've lost their long-term spouses and have had to deal with readjusting to life. You know, they could really use encouragement. And uh, just like they do, there are many other senses of loss or fear and uncertainty people are facing today. Ask God to use you to encourage somebody and maybe even to provoke them to good works. Let's have a great day for the Lord. Thank you for taking part in today's devotion and maybe even in the funeral service if you watch that. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow at noon and of course this Sunday at 10 o'clock. God bless you.